The discovery of the hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica in 1985 was a significant scientific breakthrough that led to international efforts to reduce the use of ozone-depleting chemicals. The ozone layer is a region of the Earth's stratosphere that contains a high concentration of ozone, O3, molecules, which absorb harmful ultraviolet, UV, radiation from the sun. This radiation can cause skin cancer, cataracts, and other health problems, as well as damage to crops and other organisms. The hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica was discovered by scientists using ground-based measurements and satellite data. They found that during the Antarctic spring, September and October, the concentration of ozone in the stratosphere over Antarctica was much lower than usual. The hole typically reaches its maximum size in October and November, and can cover an area as large as North America. The cause of the hole in the ozone layer was found to be the release of certain man-made chemicals, known as chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, which are used in refrigeration, air conditioning, and industrial processes. These chemicals rise into the stratosphere, where they are broken down by UV radiation and release chlorine and bromine atoms. These atoms then react with ozone molecules, breaking them down into oxygen molecules, O2. The discovery of the hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica led to the signing of the Montreal Protocol in 1987, an international treaty that aimed to phase out the production and consumption of CFCs and other ozone-depleting chemicals. The treaty has been successful in reducing the amount of these chemicals in the atmosphere, and the hole in the ozone layer is expected to gradually recover as a result. However, it will take several decades for the ozone layer to fully recover and in the meantime, scientists are still monitoring the evolution of the hole and other regions of the ozone layer depletion, to ensure that the recovery is on track. The discovery of meteorites on the ice in Antarctica has provided valuable information about the history of the solar system. Meteorites are fragments of rock and metal that have fallen to Earth from space. They come from a variety of sources, including asteroids, comets, and the Moon and Mars. The discovery of meteorites in Antarctica was made possible by the fact that the ice sheet there is very stable and has been accumulating for millions of years. As meteorites fall to Earth, some of them land on the ice in Antarctica, where they are preserved and can be found and studied by scientists. The majority of meteorites found in Antarctica are from asteroids, which are small rocky bodies that orbit the Sun. These meteorites can provide information about the composition and structure of asteroids, as well as the conditions under which they formed. Some meteorites found in Antarctica have also been found to be from the Moon and Mars, providing a unique opportunity to study these celestial bodies as they came from them directly. The lunar meteorites found in Antarctica, for example, have been used to study the geology and geochemistry of the Moon, as well as the history of impact cratering on its surface. Martian meteorites found in Antarctica have provided information about the composition and geology of Mars, as well as the possibility of past life on the planet. The study of meteorites in Antarctica has also provided important information about the age and history of the solar system. Some meteorites found in Antarctica are very old, dating back to the formation of the solar system 4.5 billion years ago, while others are relatively young, having formed within the last few million years. Overall, the discovery of meteorites in Antarctica has provided a wealth of information about the history of the solar system, the formation and evolution of celestial bodies and the conditions under which they formed, as well as the potential for life on other planets. The discovery of fossilized plants and animals in Antarctica has provided insight into the past climate and life on the continent. Fossils are the remains or impressions of ancient plants and animals that have been preserved over time. They can include bones, shells, teeth, footprints, and leaf impressions. Antarctica was once a much warmer and more hospitable place, with forests, rivers, and even dinosaurs. But as the climate cooled and the continent became covered in ice, life on Antarctica became scarce and the fossil record is not as rich as other parts of the world. Despite this, paleontologists have managed to find some fossils in Antarctica, including those of ancient plants and animals that lived there during the Cretaceous and Jurassic period. These fossils provide important information about the types of organisms that lived on the continent, as well as the climate and environment in which they lived. Evidence of past ice sheet dynamics and sea level change has provided valuable information about how Earth's climate has changed in the past and how it is likely to change in the future. The ice sheets that cover Antarctica and Greenland contain a vast amount of ice, and their size and shape can change dramatically in response to changes in temperature and precipitation. 
Scientists study the ice sheets in Antarctica to understand how they have changed in the past and how they are likely to change in the future. They use a variety of techniques to study the ice, including ice core drilling, which allows them to extract long cylinders of ice that contain a record of past climate, atmospheric composition, and volcanic activity. They also use satellite measurements, aerial surveys, and ground-based measurements to study the ice sheets. The discovery of microbial life in subglacial lakes and beneath the ice sheet in Antarctica has provided insight into the limits of life on Earth and the potential for life on other icy worlds. Subglacial lakes are bodies of water that are located beneath the ice sheet, and they are isolated from the rest of the world. Scientists have discovered that some of these lakes contain microbial life, including bacteria and algae. The discovery of microbial life in subglacial lakes in Antarctica is significant because it shows that life can survive and thrive in extreme environments. These organisms have adapted to the harsh conditions of the subglacial environment, including the cold temperatures, high pressure, and limited sunlight. They survive by using the small amount of organic matter that is available in the lake or by generating energy through chemosynthesis. The discovery of mineral resources like coal, iron ore, chromium and hydrocarbons in Antarctica has sparked interest in the potential for resource extraction in the continent. The mineral resources found in Antarctica are located mainly in the Transantarctic Mountains, which are known to contain coal, iron ore, chromium, and other valuable minerals. These resources were formed from ancient sedimentary rocks that were uplifted and exposed by tectonic activity. The discovery of these resources in Antarctica has led to interest in the potential for resource extraction in the continent, as well as the economic and environmental implications of such activity. However, mining in Antarctica is currently prohibited by the Antarctic Treaty, which was signed by several countries in 1961. The treaty designates Antarctica as a natural reserve, devoted to peace and science and prohibits any kind of commercial activities, including mining. Thanks for watching.